What's up guys, it's Argon657 here. Today I bring another Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. This one's going to be against Danny. So we have a regular 6v6 battle and uh, as you can see, he has a lot of pretty interesting Pokemon. Um, yeah, many of the Pokemon he has are either UU or below. Um, I do have a couple of OU Pokemon. I do have the uh, uh, Scizor, um, I have the Landorus and I have the Zygarde. I do have a Spinda and I have a Hariyama and a Galvantula, which is going to be my uh, Sticky Web lead. So, um, yeah, basically Hariyama is going to do, um, probably going to do uh, some work in this battle if I can, you know, uh, get it in for free. I mean, because taking a look at the team, I mean, other than the uh, Noivern, the... Um, a lot of his Pokemon are really slow, and uh, the thing is, Metagross might still, um, Metagross is probably going to end up outspeeding, uh, my Hariyama, though, but we'll see. Um, but anyways, uh, he's going to, uh, lead off with his Blastoise, and I'm going to lead off with my Galvantula, and, um, I know it's not a good matchup for him, so I'm pretty sure he's going to want to switch out, which he does. And I'm going to set up the uh, Sticky Web. Now, I do have the uh, um, Energy Ball for um, pretty much ground types like um, this Mudsdale over here. But you're going to see, I'm max special attack. And, um, yeah, that I mean, that Energy Ball did around half, though. I mean, I did expect the Energy Ball do, to do a little bit more. Um, but I'm guessing uh, he's running some special defense. Uh, investment because that energy ball didn't do too much but then again it's unstabbed so um, but he's gonna go for the rock tomb and I'm thinking uh, he might be able to live another one so I want to preserve my Galvantula for death water later and I'm gonna go to my Landorus expecting him to go for another rock tomb and uh, yeah I also don't want to get outsped by the um, uh, mud steel so I do have an opportunity to go for the stealth rocks so that way I'll put a lot of pressure on him and uh, that'll be pretty good. Now he does have the Blastoise which may carry Rapid Spin. So um, yeah, he's going to um, switch into his Noivern as I go for the Stealth Rocks. Now I'm pretty sure I could take one hit uh, from full HP pretty much. Well, yeah, I'm at full HP. I'm pretty sure I could take one hit, but he ends up pulling off the Water Pulse. I fully expected him to go for the Hurricane or the Flamethrower. One of the two. Uh, probably Hurricane, I'm guessing, but... Um, or hit me with the Supersonic Sky Strike, possibly. But uh, he ends up going for the Water Pulse, which is kind of interesting, though. But I'm able to hit him up with the Hidden Power Ice and do, like, around 75-80% damage. So, I am going to go for the U-Turn. Now I have two Pokemon to sack later on. So, um, I'm going to go into my uh, Scizor... And I do have the Bullet Punch because um, I do have the priority. And uh, he may carry Flamethrower though, but um, again, Scizor is going to be able to knock out the um, Noivern with the uh, Bullet Punch. So I don't have to worry about it. And uh, that's one threat out of the way um, that's going to stop Hariyama from doing work. So uh, now he's going to go to his Ampharos. And... Um, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go into my Landers as Death Potter. Uh, I was thinking maybe he would want to, uh, predict me to switch out and go for a Dragon Pulse. Um, but I also expected him to maybe go for the Thunderbolt or something like that. So, he's going to go for the, uh, Mega Evolution. He's going to become Mega Ampharos, so, um, so I know that he's not Mega Blastoise. However, uh... He's going to go for the Thunderbolt, as I expected, and uh, I was really hoping to sack off this uh, oh, Landorus, but um, now I can sack off my Galvantula, because my Galvantula, uh, I don't really need it anymore, but he's going to end up switching out. He's going to go to his Mudsdale, and um, yeah, um, I'm going to go for the um, Energy Ball over here, but... Uh, because of the leftovers, he's probably going to be able to live this next one. Because the energy ball, like, uh, it's like minimal maximum damage roll. So, um, yeah, he's going to be able to just barely survive that. And he's going to be able to go for the stomp. I thought he was going to go for, like, the earthquake or something like that. 
Um, honestly, like, I think that uh, Earthquake would be more better than Stomp, I mean. In my opinion, because Earthquake is Stab, and it's, uh, you know, it's more powerful. And uh, I am going to go to my Hariyama and go for the Fake Out, but he just barely lives. Um, he does flinch still, but I'm able to get my, um, uh, flame orb activated, so I'm gonna be able to, um, what was it, um, go for the close combat or something like that, but I'm gonna go for the knockoff, um, just in case he decides to, um, you know, maybe switch out into Metagross, um, but, uh, I'm gonna go for the knockoff. I do get rid of the quick call. I thought you maybe have leftovers or something like that. Um, but at least, um, I don't have to worry about, uh, him possibly rapid spin. Or, I'm not, I don't think he even has rapid spin, so. Uh, yeah, so, I am able to take out the Blastoise with the close combat. He's gonna go to his Ampharos. But again, Hariyama just being adamant nature max attack with guts. Um, a close combat uh, with stab should be able to knock out the Ampharos from that range. So I'm going to go for the close combat and it's going to be an easy Oko. So Hariyama already took out two Pokemon and uh, he could come in with Metagross and just revenge kill with the uh, Zen Headbutt or the Meteor Mash, uh, one of the two, uh, just to get the attack boost and stuff. So. Um, but he's gonna go for the Zen Head, but I was kind of hoping he would miss, but unfortunately he doesn't. He's gonna knock out my Hariyama, so that's fine. Um, but I'm gonna go to my Landorus, and I do have the Earthquake, so, um, uh, that's fine. I mean, um, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake, and I'm gonna go, uh, knock him out. And, uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about the Metagross. Uh, Metagross was a big problem against my team. So, um, yeah, so he's going to end up going into his uh, Mudsdale. And um, at this point, he, he's at a low enough health to where I'll be able to knock him out. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to go for the Earthquake. And... Um, yeah, just knock him out. And then his last Pokemon is the Incineroar. Um, so, he does have the Intimidate. I'm pretty sure, uh, even though with the Intimidate, um, I might still be able to knock him out. Uh, it really depends, because he does have the uh, Stealth Rock damage. So, um, But it turns out he does not have the Intimidate. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to go to my Scizor. Uh, expecting, I wanna, uh, I don't really wanna end, um, the match with Landris. So I'm gonna decide to sort of sack my Scizor. I'm just gonna let him take out my Scizor so I could go into my Spinda for free. Um, cause I do have the contrary, uh, superpower. Um, and I'll be able to, um, you know, I'll be able to pretty much take him out with, uh, plus one attack and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna go to my Spinda over here. And I'm going to go for the super power. And, um, yeah, it's not going to do too much to uh, the Incineroar. It's not going to knock out the Incineroar. But he's going to go for the Drain Punch. And because of that plus one, I'm going to be able to uh, live uh, quite nicely with uh, 57 HP. And I'm going to go for my Z-Move to end the match. So I'm going to go for the uh, Breakneck Blitz, which is actually Z-Return. So, um, I'll be able to definitely knock out the, um, Incineroar, but, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good battle, and it ended up being a 3-0 victory in my favor, so, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a comment below, leave that like button, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later.